News is working for you this holiday weekend, trying to get a Tulsa Park cleaned up after a night of fireworks celebrations. Tears reporter Nathan Edwards is at Johnson Park at 61st and Riverside, where nearby residents say they're not waiting for help from the city. As you take a look behind me, there are still remains of fireworks scattered everywhere throughout the park. And so far, there have been few efforts to get things cleaned up. It was at another park over there. It didn't look as bad as this one did. It's a mess at Johnson Park. Trash is scattered everywhere from fireworks that were set off in the parking lot. It's kind of junky if you look at it. I mean, if you're going to come out here and do your thing, at least clean it up, you know. Tony Panarski walks his dog through Johnson Park, stunned to see the mess. It's people who are popping and this should be responsible for picking the stuff up. I mean, it don't make no sense. You go, you come out here and play in your, play in your park and leave your park messed up like this. And he hasn't seen any crews from the city come to clean things up. Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised. Surprised they ain't came out here and picked this stuff up. Two News spoke with a city spokesperson who said they didn't know about the mess at the park and said a crew would be out to clean it on Monday. But that doesn't mean Johnson Park is going to stay trashed through the weekend. I figured somebody's going to have to come clean it up, so I came over to clean it up. With broom in hand, Amanda Nicholas tackles this task alone. I'm just surprised on how messy this place is. Um, people should have cleaned it up. She wants to enjoy the park with her son this holiday weekend and says she doesn't have time to wait for the city to help out. If this was your yard, you would not leave it like this. You would pick up your trash. Well, Amanda tells me that she has plenty of brooms and trash bags. If anybody wants to come out her, come out here and help her clean up, she already has a couple of trash bags full of the debris. Reporting live, Nathan Edwards, 2 News, works for you.